hey y'all, do y'all have five or six minutes to chill with me for a few minutes to just hang out with me for a little bit, you know, so we can do some things to get our hair growing? Y'all do? Okay, so we're going to get started. Okay, so I need something to put my oils in real quick. Um, Y'all see, I got my little hairdo going on and everything, and this is how it is holding up. Um, And I need something real quick. I am going to be using, doing a scalp massage. So what I'm going to be using is some oils. You don't need no oils if you want to do your scalp massage. You can do it freehand with no oils whatsoever, just as long as you get this here blood flowing, okay? Um, Because the movement itself is going to promote the blood flow, okay? So I, what I got here is some jojoba oil uh, for people who read how, what it say it say jojoba oil <laughs> so i'm gonna put a little bit this is my virgin hair fertilizer top i couldn't find nothing else to you know put it in i got some virgin hair fertilizer left y'all um and i'm gonna put a little bit of jojoba oil in this top and the reason i'm doing this is because i need to um use some peppermint oil Ooh, i don't even know if y'all can y'all see that it's just a little bit just a little bit just enough to um maybe a little bit more and then what I got right here is some peppermint oil. This is the peppermint oil by um, Now, that brand called Now. I got that off Amazon. Probably leave the link below. You know what? I start, I need to be like an affiliate with Amazon because I be selling everything off their little website. I be talking about everything. Or put, oh, that might be too much. Okay. Put a little bit of peppermint oil into that container. So I'm just going to mix this in with my finger. And all I'm doing is pretty much, I just pretty much want the peppermint oil, but in order for you to use the peppermint oil, you have to mix it with a carrier oil, like another oil. You can't just directly put peppermint oil on your head. I want to add a little bit more drops of jojoba oil in there. You don't have to use jojoba oil. You can use Jamaican black castor oil. You can put it in your wild uh, growth oil if you got that. Um, but I don't like to mix... Um, my stuff in my entire bottle. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't like to put peppermint oil inside my bottle of Wild Grove or inside my bottle of Jamaican Black Carousel oil. I like to put them in like a separate top to this, you know, so they won't be mixed forever because what if I want to use my peppermint oil for something else? You feel me? What if I want to do that? So I'm just going to mix this up right here. My glasses feel so dirty, child. I'm just going to mix this up right here. Get some on my fingertips. I only got a little bit, y'all. See? I got a little bit. I just enough to wet the bottom of this top and get on my fingertips. So I'm just going to take my fingertips and run them through my parts right here. I'm doing three fingers at a time. Ooh, that felt good, girl. Some of them I might do double, you know, because I don't, I can't look, really looking at what I'm doing, but it is what it is. As long as some oil go up in there, y'all. Okay, so I'm going to take and put it in between all these little parts that I got going on here. Every little section. And I'm going to do the same thing to the back until it's all in there, okay? Peppermint oil, um, you know, it tingles. So, it, you know, that helps promote, you know, the blood flow to the scalp. And it stimulates all of the, the hair follicles and all of that stuff. And it promotes hair growth, y'all. So, that's why I like to use peppermint oil. And um, that's probably one of the main ingredients in the uh, virgin hair fertilizer. So I'm just putting a little bit of oil between each of my braids right here. And I'm going to show you guys. Then I'm going to do a good scalp massage. And what I'm going to do is, y'all, don't worry. I ain't going to neglect this side. I'm going to take this bad boy off and be back. Let me see. I might as well go and take it off while y'all watching. And that's all I got to come back. Um, just take this here ponytail off. Yes, please believe I take my ponytail off at least twice a week. Well, I haven't even had the hair long enough yet, but I plan on taking it off at least twice a week when I get in there real good with my um, with my oils and stuff because I don't want to leave that part of my hair neglected just because it's a ponytail on it. I mean, it's just a ponytail. It's just bobby pin there, so I can take it off and put it right back on the same way I put it on the first time. You know, it ain't no thing but a chicken wing, you feel me? So, I done took that off. All I had in it was five big bobby pins anyway, and it had its own comb, see? All I had was these big old, when you use big bobby pins like this these big curved ones you ain't got to use that many of them because they hold hold on i dropped one y'all oh they hold a lot of hair and then you ain't got to worry about it y'all so i'm gonna get some more of that oil and try to put it over here in between see that's why i like these parts in my hair because i can use a couple of fangles or whatever y'all know i be saying fangles <laughs> 
Y'all be tripping when I be saying that. Cause that's how I say it. That's how I go, y'all. So I'm gonna use a couple of my fingers and put the oils all up in there up under the ponytail too. So that part will not get neglected, y'all. And make sure I got it up in there good. Okay? So peppermint oil, it be tingling and make your scalp feel all good. I'm making sure I got it in all the parts. Even if I go over some of them a couple of times, it's okay, y'all. It's okay. That's that's good. The mold the better. Well, not the mold, because I want to, you know, like ruin my hairstyle or whatever. So, but I'm going to, we're going to massage our scalps, y'all. So, it might take, I said y'all got five or six minutes, but it done been six minutes already. Me just doing this part. Okay, so, what you want to do next is take your fingers. Your fingers. <laughs> um... I like to warm my fingers up a little bit. I don't know. That's just me, y'all. That's just me. Y'all ain't got to do what I do, but this is what I'm doing. I'm, I be trying to show y'all the things that I've um, been doing to grow my hair. And a lot of y'all seem to like it, as long as you're listening. And when you listen, I want you to take heed as to what I'm saying. So you can apply these methods to yourself, y'all. This is free information, y'all. <laughs> um, okay, I know you can find it anywhere on the internet, but the best place to come is my channel, okay? All right. Right, y'all so um all i'm doing is my fingers really ain't warm but it was just i was just promoting blood flow through my fingers so just to whew, so i got my fingers y'all and i'm just gonna proceed to massage my scalp now i want to rub my scalp like this and but at the same time i don't want to mess my hair up so what i'm gonna do is just actually mash my head like in in a circular motion like in, in every area um on my head that's that's why i want to mess my hair up now if y'all want y'all a good rub down go ahead and rub it do not use your fingernails use the bed of your finger you can use your fingertips if you don't got long nails like me i ain't got no fingernails so it ain't gonna you know it ain't gonna bother me as long as i'm not digging my fingernails into my scalp and um also you guys y'all seen my thumbnail y'all seen the other two gadgets that i got which is what i like better uh, i'm just showing you this way if you don't have these gadgets i bought these things a long time ago um off of amazon because they would <laughs> look it was back in the day when everybody and their mama was using them and you seen promos and ads and people and i feel i fell for the okie doke and i went ahead and got them i didn't get them off the vital massage vital goods website i went to amazon i'm like i'm gonna see if they because the vital goods is also on amazon too i don't know if they still sell them but needless to say when i was at the cancer center y'all when i was living there i um bought two of these i had originally bought one already and then i went back and bought a second one so you can see one look a little bit older than the and i clean them i probably need to spray them with some bleach and get them all clean but it ain't gonna make no difference because i'm gonna oil them back up anyway but either way y'all when i tell y'all those um those youtube people that reviewed this product and was like oh my god it's the best thing since sliced bread I really do like these things. I ain't gonna say all of that since sliced bread, but it's, they real good. It takes the work out of massaging. No, this is not a paid promotion or none of that. I'm just telling you how I bought it. I ended up watching a YouTube video and I got it. They both vibrate. They the same exact thing. They vibrate as you can hear. And then all you gotta do is put them on your hair. And that keeps me from messing up my braids and my hairstyle lasts longer because I'm not rubbing it and making it frizzy, okay? But you don't have to do this. You can use your fingers. And all you gotta do is put it there and like I move it in a circular motion. They uh, most most of the people was like recommended them when you wash your hair, but I ain't never used these when I wash my hair because my washing is so um complex that i ain't got time to be trying to massage and wash at the same time not with these anyway i can rub it with my fingers but that i feel like that's too much child. i just massage on a day that i ain't washing because they doing too much all you got to do is massage your scalp for five to six minutes a day now if you got that much time um out of your day um you can take that much time out of your day you can do this like i know everybody got five or six minutes when you laying down ain't doing nothing you don't have to sit up in the chair you don't got to record like i'm doing just sit down and massage your scalp for like five or six minutes set the little timer on your phone while you're rubbing your head make sure you cover your whole area of your scalp 
and after five or six minutes you done then tomorrow you do it the same way you can, it's good to do this before you go to bed at night so that way you can relax because it helps you relax and you know might help you have a good night's sleep i don't know what all that but it does help you relax and relaxation might help you have a good night's sleep and it relieves stress you know at the end of the day after you done been to work all day long people get on your nerves your co-workers making you want to bust them in their mouth girl you just come home and massage your scalp and pray to God and forget about all of that stuff that happened today until tomorrow you got to wake up and go to work again child child but it's always good to have a time to sit back and relax and not worry about them for the next what, how many hours in between your next shift child so this these scalp massages will do you some good a whole lot of good and also they will calm you down and at the same rate these scalp massages will have you feeling like new money when you're done honey because all you got to do is set your timer for six minutes massage your scalp and the best time to do it is when ain't when everybody quiet okay child my my scalp massages include chilling uh my relaxation i want to be relaxed from the chilling crying and screaming all day and when they go to sleep and wind down i want to massage my scalp and get me a jump kick on my wrist because this actually helps me rest after a long day of hollering grandbabies okay yes and it is proven that this this does um promote hair growth because massaging your hair um stimulates the nerve endings in your scalp and and also stimulates the muscles and the blood vessels in your scalp and as a result blood will flow you got that new fresh blood flowing through your uh, scalp and your hair follicles. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> and it feels so good, girl. <laughs> and then as a result of the, the blood flowing through your scalp and your hair follicles, it, it got you getting nutrients and oxygen through all your, your hair follicles and your scalp and all of that. And then it promotes hair growth because you're getting like nutrients through there, you know. Did you guys not know we stand up all day? We are at an upright position, so um, blood does not flow fast through our heads because we this way. Now, if we flipped upside down, we might have some longer hair because our blood gonna flow faster through our head. So that 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 is like kind of like a boost in like your blood flow, kind of like the inversion method, but you're not turning it upside down. Now I did do the inversion method back in the days and it did work a little bit, but having my head upside down now, especially through all I've been through child, I'm liable to pass all the way out, okay? So I ain't finna recommend the inversion method. I mean, if you can do it, if you wanna do it, it helped me a little bit, but uh, due to health reasons, I can't be flipping my head upside down now child. But anyways, honey, this here, these here things help me a lot. Now, I, I, I ain't gonna come to y'all telling you no lie that I uh, was using these 100% faithfully um, for years because I had these for years because I jumped on the bandwagon and I fell for the okie doke and I got these and I'm like, when I did, I, I was happy that I got them. Um, whew, feel good i was happy that i got this one which made me go back and buy another one because i felt like most people that i never seen nobody use two but most people would like use one and they'd be in their videos like this oh it feels so good and i'm like listen here i got a whole head on this side so that's why i got two so i could do two at the same time okay i didn't buy two at the, i didn't buy two at the same time i bought them at separate times so um you know because you know broke people can't just ball out like that <laughs> <laughs> so I bought two at separate times and I do like them and I am now have now since 2019 been incorporating them back into my hair regimen um sometimes you fall off you know you fall off the bandwagon uh, or fall off the map with some of your hair rituals and stuff like that but this is one of the hair rituals that I will never fall off of you don't need those all you need is your fingers, you know, um, but for me, I like those better because it gives me a vibrating effect and, you know, a massage and it don't mess up my hair design. As you guys can see, I can turn around and you see that my hair is still in shape. It's not all fuzzy. And if it did get all fuzzy, it's okay. You can always get you some, um, some wrap foaming mousse or whatever. If you got braids or whatever and wrap your head back up and, 
and wrap it up tight, and then you good. I mean, you ain't got to wrap it up tight, but wrap it up and let it sit, and your, your fuzzies will go away, honey. But I need to put my hair back on, honey, for my style, y'all. And um, I appreciate y'all for watching. That's just my little tip on how to, um, I massage my scalp. And all you need is five or six minutes in your day. Actually, I ain't going to say five or six minutes because, you know, sometimes people you say five or six minutes and it'll be 15, 20 minutes. So I'm going to just say take out 20 minutes of your day. Or if you ain't using no products like I just did, I just oiled my scalp and did that. If you ain't going to use no products, you don't, it ain't going to take you no time. You could be at work sitting at your desk and massage your scalp. You know, it improves headaches. You know, it's it's, it's real good for um, you besides uh, hair growth. It's, it's got other benefits too. It puts you in a more positive mood. Uh, mood it relieves stress and it helps with headaches and all of that stuff y'all so i mean if y'all trying to grow y'all hair y'all need to get with the program honey i ain't here to try to tell you what to do i'm just trying to show you what i do okay and if you want to um promote your hair growth or whatever this is what one of the important things that you need to do it really helps and it makes you feel good it changes your overall mood after a hard long day at work um it, it will probably make you feel a lot better from all of those that got that, that, that at the job, you know? Okay, girl. All right, y'all. Okay, you guys. So, if you got any more questions on hair, anything hair related, listen. I went to cosmetology school for a, a little almost two years i graduated in 2013 um so i and i graduated on the dean's list at the top of the class i was not able to fulfill my cosmetology career like i wanted to because at that time i didn't realize oh i got to pay for booth rent and all of that cost too much that's why i did didn't like do the cosmetology thing full force because in order to get out into the hair world you gotta pay and that's not like, okay, I'm finna go get my degree in, in medicine or a nurse or whatever. Then all you got to do is go get a job and let somebody employ you. No, being a cosmetologist means you work for yourself. I mean, there's other things you can do with your cosmetology license, but I wanted to do hair. But since that didn't work for me, I wasn't thinking at the time. At the time, that's what I was thinking. Oh, I'm finna get my cosmetology license and I'm going to go and work in somebody's shop. But then the booth rent is like 200 and some dollars a week. And say, if you only do two, three heads that week, you ain't really gonna make your boo friend so i mean oh my head just tingling so i mean it wasn't worth it that's why i know a lot of people probably think in the back of their heads would never ask gold mouth that why you don't do hair then why you don't do this well when i was in florida i made my own house out of salon on one side of my house i made it into a full-fledged salon i had the sink the barber chair the everything i still got those products at this house but i choose not to do hair because then i have to deal with people coming to my house and stuff like that so i figured okay now i got all this knowledge in me i still owe the federal student government whoever the heck they call y'all know them folk i still had to pay my student loans back and all of that stuff so i feel like right now i have a platform and i have knowledge as well that i should just come and bring it to you guys for free and get paid for y'all watching my videos it ain't charging you nothing you ain't paying nothing i just get paid for the views okay so this is why i feel like okay i'm gonna come bring you this knowledge that i have i i don't know it all but i know a lot you feel me i do but and then at the same time i'm also learning with y'all i'm not no just say oh she got her bachelor's in cosmetology no I have a cosmetology license. I'm licensed to do hair and I am a licensed barber as well, y'all. I got a lot of knowledge in me, but I could never get it out because it always cost too much. You feel me? I ain't finna sit be doing no hair. I be doing hair and put my heart and soul into these heads I do just to give my booth rent to the person that's at the shop. And I didn't have enough money to get my own shop. So, you know, when you, when you raise, when you, you know... I renew my license every two years. I, I This year is another year to renew my license again, 2019 and like October, November. So I renew my license then. I ain't never just going to like, oh, I ain't doing hair, so I'm not going to renew my license. No, I renew my, renew my license every two years. Um, and... And I pass every two years, and I'm still a licensed cosmetologist. So don't take anything I say um, with a grain of salt, because I do know some of the things that I'm talking about. I ain't going to sit here and say, yes, I know it all because I have my license, because I do not. Don't nobody know it all. Even the pastors don't know it all. They're preaching in church every day, okay? Somebody better say something. Amen. Okay, so... um. 
I just was coming to give y'all that little, you know, give y'all a little tidbit of knowledge on scalp massaging and everything. School y'all a little bit because uh, your girl got skills. I just don't put them out there like that. You feel me? So, at the end of the day, y'all, that's how you massage your scalp, y'all. I just feel like I needed to put that in. And then, look, once you get through massaging your scalp, if you finna go to bed, girl, if you finna go to bed, okay? Put your bonnet on that you got from Goldmouth, okay? From goldencreations.webs.com. Y'all already know this is what I promote. Like, okay, like, I don't know if people be feeling some type of way about me promoting my bonnets, but that's my product. That's that's for that's to help myself. Um promoting things for others is all good, fine and dandy. Like this right here. I don't get paid for telling you to go get one of these. I don't get paid at all. I'm not this is not a paid promotion and I decided not to do paid promotions anymore because it's not worth it for me. And a lot of times if you don't like the product, the company wants you to lie and say yes. Uh, I like the product, even when you don't. But if there's one company that I used to work, work with, like um, Irresistible Me. All of their products was A1. All of their products was bum. They never paid me to review. They just sent me the product for free. Um, and if I felt like I didn't like it, then <laughs> I'll let y'all know. You feel me? Now, um, if I do review products, it's not going to be... Um, I don't think I'm just saying this time while I'm small now. If I get big, I'm still ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna still come on and tell you how it is. Oh Lord, the trash man, y'all. But anyways, y'all, I ain't finna be ranting, coming on and talking so long. But uh, that's all I come to say in this video, y'all. Thank y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to go get y'all satin line bonnet from my website, goldencreations.webs.com. You already know, baby. Okay. Anyway, thank y'all so much for watching. That's all I got to say in this video, and I will holler at y'all later. Bye.